This is the daily video update for the Unitarian Church of Lincoln. Today is Friday, August 21st, 2020. I'm the Reverend Oscar Sinclair. We've been talking all this week about hope, and uh, and then last night, um, in the midst of a political convention, um, a candidate for president uh, briefly quoted um, for what is for me one of the most profound poems about hope uh, that I know. We've used it in worship at the Unitarian Church of Lincoln before. We'll use it again. Um, the larger piece of work that it's from is, is beautiful. Um, and so rather than add anything, I, I just want to read that, that whole, a longer piece uh, than was quoted last night. Um, so this is um, Seamus Haney's uh, The Cure at Troy. Human beings suffer. They torture one another. They get hurt and get hard. No poem or play or song can fully right a wrong inflicted or endured. The innocent in jail beat on their bars together. A hunger striker's father stands in the graveyard dumb. The police widow in veils faints at the funeral home. History says don't hope on this side of the grave. But then, once in a lifetime, the longed-for tidal wave of justice can rise up and hope and history rhyme. So hope for a great sea change on the far side of revenge. Believe that further shore is reachable from here. Believe in miracles and cures and healing wells. Call miracles self-healing, the utter self-revealing double-take of feeling. If there's fire on the mountain or lightning and storm and a god speaks from the sky, that means someone is hearing the outcry and the birth cry of new life at its term. When hope and history rhyme, maybe it happens once in a lifetime, maybe it happens just a little more often than that. But it's a place of hope for me. See you next week.